go ahead do a little fake YouTube waking up intros. That's how we doing. Like I would literally be waking up and the first thing you do is set up a camera and then get back in bed and then you act like you getting up for the video. I mean, I guess it is content, so we're gonna try it. It's your girl Bree. I'm back with another motherfucking video. If you read my title, we will be cleaning up and a QA. Because I remember I told y'all last video I was going to give a QA. So we're going to be doing that today. And yeah, let's get started. My room, it's not that dirty, but it could for sure use some tidying up. <coughs> and then I'm gonna answer a few questions for y'all. You know what I mean? First, let's put on our handy dandy robe. <coughs> I had friends come over the other day. And stay the night with me. So all my stuff, like toothbrush and shit like that, is downstairs. And I just never been bringing it back up. Just been brushing my teeth downstairs. So um, let's go do that. And Deborah, uh, yeah, we are already twenty days into the new year. Been cleaning since we moved in, but it, this is gonna be the first regular deep clean. Like I mean, uh, washing the tub and sink out, getting into the counters, doing some laundry, taking out trash. Like you know, I'm just basic cleaning things and. Those of you who be like, oh, you're not supposed to rinse out your mouth after you brush your teeth. <sighs> Baby, leave me alone. Ugh, I hate when I get toothpaste on that sink. So, hopefully, I'll be kind of left alone today so I can get some shit done. Because I get easily distracted. Like, I don't even have none of my robes hanging up on my fucking hook no more. Like, that's how I know I need to get my shit together. And then it's cool because y'all can get, like, a little mini room tour as we clean up. First, let me show you the mess. First, walk in, you know, got the dresser. Fireplace got a little mess on the floor. Those are clean clothes with my clean robes on them. Um, bed messy. Just got a couple. Of, like, my fucking chair is in my closet, so we for sure gotta fix all this shit. Oh my mama, I can't. I can't. The bathroom. 
I knocked that over last night and I did not feel like picking it up. It was like two in the morning. I was like, I'll get it tomorrow. But yeah, this is what we're working with. Got some laundry to do. I forgot I left my dog outside before I came back upstairs. So let me go get him. Good morning, dear. No one else was listening to him bark. No, 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 no. That's how he has accidents. Let him six. Let him out. He did his business. I sat right there. Oh, he only did it once. He came back in. What do you mean? That's what I'm saying. When we feed him regular food, people food, he has to do that. That's why we need to stop giving him table food, giving him treats, because he can't. Hold it. Now he in my face like I'm his mammy and gonna feed him. See? Look at him. He got food and water in his bowl, but it ain't what he want. It ain't what it is. It's the water fresh, though. Don't give yeah. me no. Yeah. Just gave Frank water. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mama. Oh, he all. Okay. Now that he's handled, let's get back to the program. I'm trying to see if I want to shower first because when I start on my laundry, I want the clothes I got on to be in there too. If that makes sense, I think I'm going to do that. I guess the questions would just come to me. Like, I have them in my notes, but like, I'm just going to be doing it throughout the video. The whole video is a QA plus cleaning up with Brie. Uh, don't leave wrappers in your room. It brings bugs and ruins. And we don't want ugh, dropping it all on the phone. Almost threw my stuff away. Oh my god. I didn't realize what it was until I grabbed it. So <clears throat> drink the water. So let me go ahead and get set up for a shower. And then And y'all, I'm about to, y'all heard that ding. Hopefully it was downstairs, but that shit sound like it was in my room. I don't like that at all. If you asking why I smoked my drink. <laughs> yeah, I smoked my drink. We well, got a whiff of it. I was like, ooh, it smelled real good. And I forgot. I put one of some things in. You know, I need to get you one of these. All the clothes are smelling good. I guess the first question to be answered is, what's my name? And my name is Brianna Alice Abrams. Most people call me Bree, Bree Bree. Um, my family nickname is Little Mama. Um, that's, that's me. Um, to my age, I am 21 years old. I know, I don't look like it. I look like a whole child. Thanks. But yes, I am 21 years old. My birthday is on October 31st, um, 2001. So yes, I am a Halloween baby. No, I ain't no goddamn demon baby. I don't. I ain't friends with the motherfucking devil. Don't come with me with that bullshit. I can't stand when people say that shit when they hear my birthday. It's annoying. Grow up. Mm -mm 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 I find some good old fashioned shorts with you. Oh, don't break my door. And then when I shower, I like to turn on my fucking fireplace so it get warm and toasty because when I get out the shower, it be cold as fuck. And I don't like that. So we're going to turn her on. She be a little loud, but she, you know, she gets the job done. We're just going to sweep this up and then shower, I guess. Oh 
What's y'all icks about the shower? <sighs> Meaning like, what's one thing you can't stand while taking a shower or after? Like, you know what I mean? Like for me, I hate putting my feet on a towel, on a towel floor. Like I hate wet feet on a towel floor, on like the regular bathroom rugs. Like I need, I need a towel to go on the floor for me if I'm gonna put my freaking feet on. Like I hate the feeling of it. And then don't let there be hair on the floor because I'm not even gonna shower. I'm just go the whole day funking. Like I don't do for. Oh yeah, y'all ever the toilet ever stop on y'all and y'all had to fucking put your hand in that shit in the top the fucking pull the string. I hate that shit too. They ain't got nothing to do with showers. Now I end up turning into bathroom mix. So, yeah. Oh, another thing I hate while coming out the shower is being extremely cold. Like, you know, when you get out, you got that breeze. I hate that. That's why I turn on the fireplace. We stop moving so we can get this up. I might as well just sweep the whole floor real quick. Since I'm doing it, like, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, if I'm about to clean the bathroom later, I'm not going to go ahead and do shit. I'm just get to sleeping. I don't want nobody messing with me. In the streets. Don't say the original thing, but my mom said I work on my cousin on this channel. Which is understandable because we're trying to be professional and whatnot. But damn it, if I got something to say, I got something to say. No, I'm just playing. Here. I bought this trash can from Walmart and I hate the way it leans. Like it doesn't naturally like like this. No. She don't do that. She real different. I like how all my things have personality. Like my bookshelf, for example. I end up putting that shit in upside down. And the shelves are in backwards, so yeah, all my items have like special characteristics that make them cool in mine. Y'all, you better get you some of these little glass things. Amazon, I think they're like twelve dollars each. I really like a vibe when I shower, so I be turning on my LED lights. And I think I'm going to turn on my warmer because it's been a few days since I've had that one. And maybe when I clean off my dresser, I'll light a candle in my room. I got too much stuff on the dresser to even light something right now. But yeah, you see, you see, wait until the lights go off. And I don't know why it goes that natural, the, the rainbow color. Like it wasn't, it don't necessarily work like it's supposed to. It's honestly two different strips, so like they be acting wonky. But let me show you what it looks like with the light off. Yeah, I be vibing in here. Like, you see what I mean? This, you know, the second LED don't really dim, or I'm just fucking dim. It don't even fucking work. Okay, it don't work as good as this side, but it's okay because it's over the mirror in the shower. That's what matters. Why don't you just bought me that little, this little cute, this little cute soap dish thingy. Let me see how I would like it sitting in there. Oh, um, she kind of cute. I don't know. I might just keep it on this little sponge pad thing. Okay. Let's get your handy dandy shower cap. I did just pick it off the floor. Hey man, we gotta clean. We gotta clean. Oh, let me put a trash bag in. Do any of y'all watch the challenge? MTV's The Challenge. Might I add one of the best, like one of the best gaming. Not really gaming, but it's almost like Ninja Warrior plus Fear Factor. Without all the butt well, they do be having bugs on there sometimes. But yeah, it's my absolute favorite show. And I end up turning my mom out on it. Like, so she's been watching the show without me, apparently. And I'm like, where we do that at? Little binge watch thing. 
Because I got a lot of episodes to catch up on. Like, a lot. But my dream, one of my very many dreams, is to be on that show. And my goal is to be on there by the time I'm 25. I'm 21 right now. I have four years. I need to get my ass in the gym, get some type of muscle so I can handle half of the challenge they even fucking thought of me. I need to get back in swimming. Because I took swimming lessons when I was trying to enlist in the military and shit. But they didn't want me. But that's a story for a whole different day. And yeah. Like the challenge is just the shit. If you don't want it, you need to. Mm hmm. I was just sitting there rambling about my favorite show, but it is a good show. Like, I promise you guys won't be disappointed. Let me run my water. Gotta put on my super duper hands. Gotta protect my hair. Honestly, the goal is to tackle this, so y'all might get another video. This is just gonna be the only one today. But let me answer the question before I got the shower. Um, no, I got a brain fart. Fuck it. Oh, and then, does anybody else have shower shoes? These aren't, these aren't them. They're actually. Yo, I really lost my shower shoes. And I don't even know where they could have went because they're shower shoes. They ain't supposed to go nowhere. I don't wear them in the shower, but just like if I don't have a towel on the floor, then I can put on my shoes. And they're just some plain old navy blue slides, but I would like my plain old navy blue slides. Yeah, you know I mean? Oh, they all right over here. Okay, sound time. Yeah, check me out. Check me out, y'all. Slides, I wear them in and everywhere when it comes to water. Um, everybody in my family group chat wishing my cousin happy birthday happy birthday Ashley you go girl much love mm -hmm. when I ain't got a question I'm gonna just give a fun fact and a fun fact is I have um, eczema eczema is like a skin condition there's like fungi under the skin or whatever and it makes you break out and your skin crack and you could be pussing and bleeding. Honestly, everybody's case is different. But yeah, so if you ever, you know what I mean, see my hand and it's looking like this, or you see like a goddamn black ring or something, I don't want to say black ring, but if it starts to look like I got a mustache in a video or two, just know it's my ex my acting up with me. It's nothing to be worried about. What y'all use to wash our ass with? Uh, let me see. I'm using the Dove's Pampering Shea Butter and Vanilla. I'll be using the liquid soap version and then I got the bar soap version. And then I have a scrub in my Dove. It's the crushed macadamia and rice milk. Well, I'll tell you, this smells so good. Uh, you know, rub it on your body for like three, four minutes, exfoliate, rinse off, and girl, some silky for months. I have a Bath and Body Works uh, shower gel. I can't, I can't use Bath and Body Works stuff. Like I use that perfume, but when it comes to like lotion and shower gel, I have to mix it with something that actually will help my skin and won't break me out. Anything fruity and like it don't be having no real nutrients for the skin in here. So I be mixing them. You know what I mean? But I'm about to shower and I'll be back.
the shower. Very fresh, very clean. Ass cheek squeaky clean. But um, I was about to moisturize and I was like, I might as well tell you about what kind of moisture I use. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a company from Instagram that my mom found and it's called Cannies with a K, Cannies. And let me flip it. Yeah, so it's called Cannies and it's a fluffy whipped eczema body butter. But she has many different options. Like, it's not just this. So, like, I have her whole collection. You know, you got the Mango Magnus. I can't even speak, Lord. Mango Madness body butter. And then you got the cocoa. The cocoa butter. And then, what's this? The same thing, but, you know, just a smaller container. But, yeah, she has some really good products. Um... As you can see, this is the only one that's really full. Like, I've had this for a minute. I just don't use it because, like I said, like, I can only use, like, certain things on my skin. So, the eczema and the cocoa butter, the for show empty. And then I also use this. I go in after after I put that on. You know, got to put on the type of grease and then some type of oil. And butter me down. Like, you see my little collection? I don't know why you're right there. You don't belong right there. But it's okay, because that's why we're about to clean this whole mess up, okay? And it's so toasty in my room, which is why I love this fireplace. Did you uh, check on me? I don't think you did. When I get in the shower, my three main places I hit first is my face my hands and my elbows because get, they get the driest or more prone to eggs but than the rest of my body so you got to hit these places first before you lotion anywhere else like my hands they could be getting better but i have a habit of picking at them too and that's not good so and my eczema used to be so bad on my legs, yo. Like, whenever I was mad or sad, like, I would just scratch them. Like, scratch them until they was all bleeding and, and pussy. Like, I remember one time my mama seen me and she fucking screamed. Like, literally screamed. She was like, what the hell is going on with your leg? Like, of course she knew about the eczema. She knew about the eczema, but she was like, breathe. Like, why is it bleeding? Why is it pussy? Like, why is it doing all this and that? Because I... I have issues. <laughs> now, I um, probably get like one or two patches on my lid. And then it'll go away within the next week or so. So, I don't really necessarily get eczema on my legs for real. Which is good. Because I used to be insecure about wearing dresses and shorts all the time. Like, uh, give me pants. Yoga pants, leggings, tights, whatever the fuck you got. Give it to me. I'll dress. We can get started cleaning. So then I can break down my laundry and separate those. Get my motherfucking chair out that goddamn closet and put my shoes up. I need to find a place to put my sheets and pillowcases for the not in use. Because they're literally on the, in the corner on the floor. And... We looking good, girl. We're looking good. Yes. Now let's clean. It's time for her to answer another question. Oh. It's on the floor. About to say, where is my phone? Because I swore I wrote these questions down. I just can't think off the top of my head. I don't know if I answered early, earlier, but my zodiac sign, I am a big motherfucker, Scorpio. Don't play with me. All about the revenge. Heavy on, don't start none, won't be none. And stay in your bubble, I'll stay in mine. How about that? Biggest pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve, anything slow. And that goes for if you drive slow, if you walk slow, if you act slow, read slow, anything slow, I honestly cannot fucking stand it. I have no type of patience whatsoever, which is what I need to fix and what I need to work on within myself. But that's my business. Pet peeve, anything slow. Like, I can't, I can't sit still for long. I really feel like I got ADHD. 
it. I ain't never been tested for it, but I feel like I got it. Like, I hate going somewhere and we don't have a move. Like, we're just wandering around, looking stupid, lost. I, I can't stand it. I don't like, I need to know what we're doing. I need to know what we're getting in. I, I can't, mm -mm, all that. Y'all can that on your own. So it's like, if you, if you ain't really sure about what you got going on, then I need you to leave me out your plans for now, because that ain't it. Uh, sit my rag like it's supposed to be sitting. I need to do some laundry anyway. I've been drinking. Oh, I can show y'all like my little collection, my little plush, um, plush slippers. I ordered my monster feet from Amazon. I had I had bought three pairs. You know, I gave one to my mom, and they are oh so cute. And then the falcon ones, they're my brother's, and he had them since he was little. But of course, he don't want them no more. So guess who? Who's the new owner? Did y'all see them? These are like so freaking cute. And then my fucking monster feet. I told my mom to start wearing these whenever I'm hungry or something ain't going my way. But these are for sure the house shoes. They don't never see outside. I don't even wear these outside when I let Duke out. You know what I'm saying? Like these stay in the house. In the house. I love being comfortable. I just... I just freaking love it. I think I'm gonna take these sheets off too. It's time to change these sheets. And uh, right, yeah. And honestly, we're still like, we've been officially living here like for uh, two months and some weeks. And I have not finished un unpacking my life. Okay. Right, let me just take you over to my little mini clubhouse over here. Every day I see something new in here. Like, literally can't even walk in the door without bumping into something. All this stuff is mine. Everything that couldn't fit in my room, clothes that still need to be put up, but don't have any space for. Like, I don't know where this lamp came from. Where is, what, what is this empty box? Why is it right here? Um, I have curtains that I want to hang up in my room that I haven't gotten around to. You know what I'm saying? Like, my new bonnets I just got. Why are they over here? And then, yeah, it's just too much. Ooh. Um, what's it called? I just um, put these damn strip, this strip light on my TV. It's coming off. not very sturdy. And I can turn it on. Oh, don't tell me the TV has to be on. Of course. <gasps> oh, what am I stepping on for it? Okay. Like you see, she's on. Just need to put her back where she was. Y'all, we got a lot to do, honestly. And I feel like today is the perfect day to get all that done. No excuses. Get it done. Okay. So first, we're going to start with all the robes. Let's hang up our robes. All right. Like those two robes, I got them from Walmart. But these two robes, these used to be my grandma's. And I love them dearly because they still oh, fucking smell like her. She had a baby blue one, you know what I'm saying? And then she had a, a black one. Same style. So I really have two robes the same style. Two sets, how about that? Because those are the same, they're just different colors, and these are the same, just different colors. And I think it's so cute. And then this is, I honestly forgot where I got this from. I feel, I think it was when we went back to Detroit for vacation. But I don't know. I freaking love her. It's like a, a, a white poncho hoodie. And then he just let it fall. It automatically has holes in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is too cute. I honestly don't even remember where I got it from. I feel like it was when we was in Detroit, but I don't know. 
but she just happened to end up in my things and I love it. So we have this. <laughs> and then if you know, you know, this is my smoke robe. <laughs> Uh, if you don't have one, you need to get you one. When I tell you this thing is so worn and torn, I painted in this. I fucking, like you see the paint. Y'all probably think it's just dirt. No, honey, that's paint. And then, you know, the pockets got holes in it. This actually was my grandma's robe too. Honestly. <laughs> but I was taking all my grandma's stuff. But this is her robe too, actually. And or was her robe and yeah i've been using it as a <laughs> and it was funny because i had someone buy me a robe for christmas they was like i got you a new smoke robe so you can throw this old one away i was like don't you dare come for my robe i mean yeah she is a little um the caller's talking i don't <laughs> But she still ain't nothing wrong with her until there's like a big hole in the, besides the pockets, then y'all understand. But in the meantime, she's staying. If you're wondering where I got the hook from, good old-fashioned Walmart. Um, I also got this one from me. Oh, I also got, oh my God, I can't even about to drop y'all. I also got this one from Walmart. I wanted another one like them because it had a five hook and it was cute, but they sold out. And so I had to handle this one. And then I was going to use it for like purses and stuff, but I might put y'all somewhere else. First way of hanging my purses and they end and then this hook end up breaking and i can't get it off the door now so that's why i put them here but i honestly just might buy another one so we can go i don't know Ugh, oh my god get this goddamn chair out of here that shit pissing me off every time i look at it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, got my ropes up here. Okay, so, how did you get under here so fast? <clears throat> Who is my favorite YouTuber? Diera and Markiplier. Markiplier, if you don't know who he is, the same on you, but he is a video gamer. Well, he's a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber and he's also a gamer, so combine them two. And he has played one of the best horrifying games there is. The amazing Five Nights of Freddy's. This is my pal Foxy here. I got him a few years ago for Christmas. I was utterly happy because I went to GameStop with my mom and brother one day. And I had seen the Freddy one, right? And I was telling her, I was like, oh, can you please get this? Please, 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 please. And she was like, no. And so I guess, and I guess the next day she went back to actually go get it. And they were sold out. But they had him up here. So she ended up getting him. I'm going to find, find Freddy. I'm going to try to find a way to, I don't know what I got to do, but I'm going to find him for sure. They also had a Bonnie one. It wasn't there, but I've seen it online. Like when I when she told me Freddie was sold out, I went on online instantly. So they do have a bunny, a Bonnie one too. And I want to get the whole freaking gang, you know what I'm saying? His eye broke off. I need to sew this back on. But he's been thugging it. You know what I mean? Markiplier is one of my favorite YouTubers. And Diera Muckfuck Taylor. Y'all don't understand. De'Ara Taylor, I've been watching her since she was fucking 18, okay? 
That sounds crazy as hell. I sound like a stalker saying it out loud. But damn it, that girl has my full-on support. Anything she do, I love. Can't hate it. Can't be mad at her. She's winning. I'm trying to get like her. And then, like, the way she carries herself and how she doesn't let anything affect her. Or if it does, she don't let you see it. Like, she, she ain't going to let you see her sweat. And that's one thing I love about her. Like, <sighs> boss bitch shit. That's what I'm trying to be on. So, Marka Blair and Dear Taylor are my top two faves. Um, if I had to go ahead and make it a top three, I would SAS ASMR, um, SAS AMR. That's her full channel name. And she just be doing a whole bunch of monk bangs, the type of stuff she eat. I be jealous. Like, invite me sometime. You know what I mean? She be eating some good stuff. A lot of people say they don't like monk bangs or ASMR, but I love it. I can go to sleep listening to ASMR. Just put it on my phone or TV and, um out like a lot <sighs> um i got sidetracked so we're gonna get back to the cleaning um what do i want to start with first i actually i'm about to go put this back close in that other room and yeah Did you check on me? Mm, mm. Did you look for me? Mm, mm. I'm sorry. That was, that was like I, I really nobody be having organization skills like me, bitch. What is this? What the fuck? My damn wool ball for my laundry. I put this in the dryer. It's supposed to be catching all different types of lint and stuff. Well, I can't really tell you if it work or not. I still be having lint in my shit, so I guess not. So yeah, of course the containers are from Walmart. Walmart, my best friend. I never do Walmart wrong. Y'all can get whatever you want from me. Now I'm honestly thinking about giving most of these shoes away or just getting rid of them because it's time to get rid of the old and end with the new. Like, look at this. I've had these since fucking middle school. You know, basic running shoes. You know what? Let me stop talking junk, because ain't nothing wrong with them for real. Like, they still look, you know, pretty decent. I don't even know where I got you from. Um, some vans that I don't wear. You know, the typical Air Force Ones. I lost, I took the, out the string in the other one, and I forgot what I did with it. I think it was dirty, and I wanted to wash it. And then I got distracted and never ended up washing it, and I lost the fucking shoelace. So, you know, you got to buy more laces for them. Those good old-fashioned Converse. Can never go wrong with those. Champion. Bro. These? These were my first ever pair of uh, air force anytime like i used to wear these like i ain't had shit else but these were my absolute favorite if i could get another pair of these i would because there's nothing wrong with them like i was obsessed with these shoes mm -mm -mm. like i still got them because like eh, i feel like there's nothing wrong with them yeah the sole was fucked it's fucked okay dirty as hell but Still a, a good, decent shoe, so I ain't got rid of them. Yeah, honestly, if I ever find another pair, that when I get another pair, that's when I get rid of them. There we go. Good old fashioned Adidas. I just really be doing shit. I got another pair of bands in here. These are our recent. This is a recent purchase or recent gift. These are also Adidas, and they're like the big ass platform shoes. I like them. They're cute. They do be looking like clown shoes on a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. It's called fashion and style. Fashion has no fucking rules. Okay. These. And this was like my second pair of Jordans ever. Barely worn them, but they are very cute. So they're staying. But yeah, the container, it's, it's pretty cool though. 
Like, you can't go wrong with them. Straight from Walmart. They open on both sides. You know what I mean? And you just flip it open, whichever side you want right now. But you see the shoes. Oh, these were my first ever pair of Jordans. I remember I was so excited to get these. I even brought the box to school. I had like a chorus concert that night. And so in that box, I had like deodorant, like little fresh up, little touch up, fresh up stuff for after school. Cause I was gonna be there until like freaking eight o'clock that day. But yeah, I was so excited to freaking wear these. I thought I was the shit when I showed up and he, and then I remember this boy, he was like, oh, you think you cool, huh? You bought your box and everything. Yes, I do. Me, me, alone. I'm honestly mad I have to put all this shit back because they were in here a very nice way and I did not see how or paying attention to how I took these out. So, there's that. Bitch, ain't nobody checking on you. Shut up. Shut up. Bro, oh, this thing gonna lay down like it did before. Mm. Oh. Okay, that's that's that was neat. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> I don't see the struggle. Ah. Ouch. Boom. Straight like that. Straight. Oh, fuck. It's kind of a technique to this kind of thing. Okay, that's flat enough for me. You can slide right there. You can easily slide right. So it's you. So it's just you. Okay. I feel like i seen what I needed to see. Here's, I didn't even, there's another one of the slides, you know? You got these little cute little random, these unicorn things. I thought they were cute because the blue, like blue is my color, like that's that's me. I got them from Walmart. But after a while, like the, the band in the foot part, that shit be tearing into my ankle. So I don't really wear those as much as i would like this one is all like my crocs and slides and shit of that sort like oh, pull her out a little bit more like you see i got damn near every kind of croc every kind of nike slide in here you know what i mean anything i can easily slip my foot in are most likely in here these little croc heel sandal things my mom got and then another pair of croc you know but i'm 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 a cropped out girl like these were cute she, she got these off of a instagram boutique y'all how me and my mom got a problem we do these are so freaking cute and then like i don't know like some business work shoes i don't know these are cute. Y'all will never, y'all will never, ever, 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 motherfuck ever see me with flip flops or anything that's in between the toes. I cannot stand that. If you peep, all my shoes are just easy sliding. I don't have nothing going between the feet except these. Oh no, they don't. But yeah, you see. I don't do in between the toe shoes. Like I'm, I can't. If you were to buy me some shoes like that, I or some sandals, whatever the fuck, I wear probably only wear them once to make you feel good, and then after that, you would never see them on my feet again. Cause I hate that feeling. And then after a while, if you if you out and about all day, that shit is tearing into between my toes, and I can't stand that. I love my Crocs. Absolutely. I remember I had got these off of like a Black Friday sale and they were $12. Like I've never seen anybody with these metallic Crocs. 
So I feel special whenever I wear these, cause, but I done worn them so damn bad. Like they starting to, you know, the metallicness is starting to go away. I was like, since I'm down here, let me show y'all my shoes. Let me put them back how they were. Like so many pair of Nike slides. I don't even wear these no more. I need to keep a pair out just so I can say I got them. <laughs> this is my old car key. <laughs> oh, I got in an accident a few weeks back. Like it was a few days right before Christmas. And I totaled my baby. I am so hurt. When I went to the junkyard to go get the rest of my things. And <laughs> she didn't even look the same. Y'all. That car was my everything. And I didn't treat her how she should have been treated. I didn't. And I, I have to take the blame for that. <laughs> she didn't deserve it. And it was my fault. It was. I, 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 I ain't even got nothing to say. I'ma just, I'm just tell you this. Fuck that food. Fuck the food. Let the food fall. Okay? Fuck. You gonna be more mad about a $40 food spill or over $1,500 worth of damage done to your car? Fuck the food. Like, I, I, got, I got to step out with these one day. I really do. Like, summer, spring is going to be coming up soon. Sooner than we know it. Because it's already the 20th of January. And I feel like we just started this motherfucker. I feel like I just got in that accident last week. Like, this shit's moving. That's why people like time is money. And they ain't about to play with you. else that needs to go in there so good right, it, it's always fucking one okay. win Under my fox, see, I have a box full of like all my scarves and stuff. So I can easily just grab them and go when it's when it's cold. I ain't got to look for nothing for real. I just got this for Christmas. She is so cute. Isn't she? So wrap around. Yeah, I like this. Okay, one part of the floor is clean. Now we're about to start this closet and putting our shoes where they belong. First, get this motherfucking shit out of here. This was my cap and gown from, like, what? I, I can't even remember. Was it first grade, kindergarten, second grade? It was one of them years. And then you got to high school. I'm looking like we got the same shit. Oh, sorry. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Y'all yeah, don't know what's going on. Y'all don't know what's going on. Let me take you into this, clo this closet real quick. 
All right, starting on the bottom level, you have more freaking shoes that I do not need. Um, as you can see, I got me some Ugg slides. I, my mom, my mom, she likes to get every color of a shoe she likes. And so she thought these were cute for me and she bought every color. And then you have these, you know, little dressy shoes, little heels that I most likely won't be walking in until another two years. And then, you know, some basic shoes, my everyday shoes, for real, for real. And then I got these for my birthday, not last year, but the year before. Absolutely adore. These are my SpongeBob, SpongeBob shoes. I also got these for my birthday that year, that same year. Um, Where the fuck is the other one? Oh, it's already, it's already right here. Relax, relax. You good, you good. And yeah, and when I tell you I don't be having no space, like I, uh, fuck no space. I don't have any more space. And so I had to invest in two of these from Walmart, everything from Walmart. And, you know, put all my summer clothes and like dresses and work stuff in here and all my summer bikinis dresses two pieces all that in there you know i got got my and this rug is so cute like baby blue is certainly one of my colors um and then you got this closet all the hangers you see are jackets that need to go back in their places that i haven't necessarily finished and then i have so many more jackets to hang up i have no room for anything and if it ain't guess, I don't want it. Guess only ho. Only. I've been collecting these bags for a couple of years. Also, my absolute fave. Um, as you can see right now, the one I'm carrying is my. Okay. And then the one I'm carrying now is my big body. But I love guess. If it ain't guess, I don't want it. And. Yeah, so that's pretty much the closet. Really, 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 really. I really hate my voice on camera. So that's another thing with this YouTube I have to get used to is hearing myself talk. Mm, I am not ready for that. And I'm sure y'all not either. Because I can be annoying sometimes. I, I, I will admit to that. But, but no, nobody ever tell me that. Um, probably about to time lapse and fix all this. Gotta fold these up and all that good stuff. another question. I guess I can be talking about that. Why did I start YouTube? But yes, that's a very much a good one. Um, I started YouTube because I hate working for people or under people or people telling me what to do. With YouTube, there really aren't rules. There are, but there aren't. Because you get to do what you want with your channel. Your channel. And if nobody likes it, they can simply click off. But guess what? You still got that view, though. You're still getting me paid, though. It's really simple, honestly. I started YouTube because I wanted to be my own boss. I mean, everybody can make a YouTube, but the thing that makes you different is your content and your vibe and if the people are going to rock with you and I feel like I got that vibe I'm a very good spirit to be around I always make it laugh down for a good time with all the shit you know what I mean and I feel like that needs to be seen or shared with the world um, another reason I don't like working for nobody like I'm so sick of the 9 to 5 life I'm still working a 9 to 5 but it's like Hopefully, if I do my shit right with this YouTube, 
I won't have to ever work for someone again, you know, and YouTube is not the only stream of income where you won't necessarily have to work on it anymore. Like, I also want to be a photographer. Now we can talk about dream goals. I got down photographer, and then soon that can turn into videography and film and directing, and then just my just might turn into an audio engineer and start making beats on you motherfuckers. You know what I mean? My first YouTube video, that's another thing we need to talk about. My The first YouTube video, that last one, it got like, what, 40 some views? Um, It is at 40. If it ain't at 40, it's at 30. But either way, both numbers are great for my first video, and I ain't do no type of promoting. I ain't tell nobody I was dropping shit. I posted it when I actually dropped it. It was like, go watch. And I had like 40 people watch my stuff. So it's like, I'm not going to force anything, honestly. I'm just going to be me, make my content, and whoever rocks with me, rock with me. And who don't, they don't. I ain't going to be mad at you, but don't disrespect me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wanted, I've been wanting to do YouTube for a long time anyway, too. Like, I've had this channel for about three years and never did nothing with it. And I don't know what made me just pick up the camera that one day and just started vlogging. But now I want to take this serious and be more consistent with it. So that's what I'm doing. And I hope, and I hope you're willing to join me on this journey. Because we about to have a blast, I promise you. Not the end. It's not. Once again, got sidetracked. It's late as hell. Um, after that last clip, I finished up my laundry. Um, what did I do? I, I think that was it. I think I got lazy after that. And that. That was it. I don't think I did anything else today. After. So, um, yes. Oh, thank you guys for watching. I wasn't expecting this fucking vlog to be an hour long. Like, dead ass. I was not expecting that. But if you watch all the way to the end, I fucking love you. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell me what you think in the comments. What I need to work on. What that could be better. You know what I'm saying? Help me out. Let's, let's, let's make it together. Okay? And, yeah. I highly appreciate y'all. I appreciate the ones who watched the last video, and I also appreciate the ones who subscribe. Like, y'all really come slowly coming through for your girl. Like, oh, mm hmm. Period. Period. <laughs>